The Synod on Synodality closed with a reflection on the complex relationship between the Church and the contemporary world. Cardinal Carlos Aguiar of Mexico led this reflection. He used some points from Pope Paul VI's encyclical, Ecclesium Suam. Shortly after, the final document of this stage of the Synod was published and the Assembly's top officials appeared before the media. The point that generated the most controversy among the participants of the Assembly was whether women can be ordained deacons. Nearly 20 percent of the members voted against it, but the Assembly voted to continue the research in the following year. Those in favor of ordaining women deacons, according to the document, say that this practice would be an appropriate and necessary response to the sign of the times. Those who are against it say that this idea is an expression of dangerous anthropological confusion, and that if the church supports it, it would be a sign of disorder. Other points in the document included priestly celibacy, pastoral care for those who may feel excluded from the church, and the concrete responsibilities of bishops. Those in charge of organizing the Synod insisted that the purpose of the document was to offer points for reflection and proposals for the next assembly. In fact, an indispensable condition was that each point of the document be approved by a net majority. Tutti i paragrafi sono stati approvati con due terzi. All paragraphs were approved with a two-thirds majority. And on the other hand, we are a family, a particular family. We must respect everyone's steps. We cannot speed up the pace or go backwards. To walk together, this is the concept of synodality. Here, we do not win by shouting more. The document also generated disappointment in some LGBT Catholic communities, as the text does not feature any new mention of these groups. This was pointed out by New Ways Ministries, whose co-founder met with Pope Francis a couple weeks prior. The Assembly had strong consensus on points such as the importance of being a humble and listening church, and that all the baptized, regardless of their condition, have a crucial role in evangelization. As the Assembly came to an end, hundreds of people participated in a nightly candlelight rosary in St. Peter's Square. Oh.